All right, what is up guys, it's Caleb here. And uh, I just wanted to record a quick video on the title. The title of today's video is gonna be how to deal with burnout as a online entrepreneur. And the reason why I'm making this video is that the timing, timing of it, um, I'm going through a season in which uh, things are hard. You know, it's difficult in business and um, you know, I can come on here and say business is easy, uh, things are going well, um, but we're just in that season where um, there's a lot of things that have to be managed, a lot of people that um, you know need to be helped uh, within the company, and so uh, we're, I'm going myself uh, going down a season in which you know I feel myself working a lot of hours, and you know stress is starting to creep in, and so um, I thought about. Uh, making a video to help people that I know are in the same situation um, and dealing with burnout as a as an entrepreneur um, because I think it's an important topic uh, that I, I have went through myself uh, last year uh, it was uh, sometime in October uh, October November uh, in which I was working very long hours and I felt myself uh, burning out and I got to the point where I did burn out and everything, uh, my motivation, my my drive, my discipline, uh, my morning routines, I just went out the roof. And I remember not knowing what it was. You know, I woke up one day and it just, you know, I just felt this uh, loss of motivation, this this um, this feeling that it's hard to describe. And um, you know, I, I took some time to reflect, and I remember I took the day. Uh, to be in silence and just be with my own thoughts, be with my myself, and really reflect on um, why I felt the way that I did and um, how I got to that point. And so as this is coming up again, um, I wanted to just share some things that has helped me along my way, um, my journey uh, in this whole uh, entrepreneurial uh, journey. Um, so number one is, I think we should start with why why we feel burnt out or why we get to that point where we do burn out. Um, I like the source, the source of why we're, we're going down this route. And from my perspective, uh, from what I've seen and, and talked with other uh, friends in this space, it really comes down to not having time to yourself, um, time to reflect and uh, do the things that you enjoy. Uh, at times, you know, as entrepreneurs, we're, uh, as leaders or CEOs, you know, you're running at 100 miles per hour and you're, you're always looking to drive the needle forward, always looking to um, put as much effort and um, thought into the business. And when you're you know, so overwhelmed, when you're, when you're so occupied with just business and just work, and uh, working long, long hours and managing teams and constantly in this you know cycle of having conversations and talking with people, um, you know you can start to really lose sight of you know what you enjoy. And this is one thing that I uh, went through is I, I started to realize that I lost touch in the things I enjoyed and the things that brought me joy, the things that I I did for fun, um, and it was very. Uh, robotic, you know, robotic in a way that I was just working all the time, not really taking time to uh, either reflect or enjoy or um, something as small as going out, you know, during lunch and walking around. Um, and so I, I think that's, you know, the source of things uh, is usually when, when you don't have time to yourself, when you, you're not taking care after yourself uh, is when you can usually deal with burnout. Um, and so, uh, number one advice that I have here is uh, to take time uh, for yourself. You know, take the time for yourself to do the things that you enjoy. Um, that could be playing basketball um, after work or even before work. Uh, that could be going out and uh, meeting with, up with friends or working out. Uh, whatever it is for you that, that you enjoy, uh, those are usually the things that are going to uh, reignite the uh, the drive 
um, and start to take your mind off of work. You know, uh, one of the things I found is that, you know, instead of trying to force your way to keep pushing, to keep feeling motivated, to uh, continue to work, um, it's usually the other way around. You know, it's usually, if you find yourself in that state, it's usually you have to actually stop what you're doing. You know, you gotta stop what you're doing. You gotta stop work. You gotta take the day off. And even though it's backwards, it's like, oh, well, I wanted to feel more motivated, so I'm gonna do more work. Um, it's actually the other way around. It's, you know, let's take a time to reflect and not do work um, so that I can come back the next day or the following week um, stronger. And so that's my number one uh, thing that has helped me uh, in my in my journey. Uh, number two is time alone. Okay, so there's a difference between having time to yourself, uh, doing the things that you enjoy. That could be going out, meeting up with people. Um, but I find that when you're, you know, because we're in business and we're sort of talking with a lot of people, and when you don't have time alone, and alone as in, you know, you don't have anybody that you're talking to, um, you're by yourself, you're, you're with your own thoughts. Um, I find that that time is an opportunity, a chance for you to reflect. Um, and it's not that you're going to, if you have time alone, you're going to reflect because we all have times that we're alone. Um, we could be on social media. We could be, um, you know, just kind of hanging out, watching TV. But it gives you the chance to sit down and reflect. Uh, when you're with friends or when you're going out, you're doing activities, uh, you don't really have, you're not really in the brain space or in the, the state to sit down and reflect on your life and where you're at and where you want to go. Um, and so when you have time alone, that time alone, I found that the more time I have alone, the more time I have, even sometimes away from family, you know, away from friends and just in my own room. Um, and just, you know, there, just thinking about where I'm at, uh, and taking the time to uh, relax and not be on social media, not be on my phone, not work, uh, but actually just reflect. Um, I find that that's what really gets me back on path and, and continues to uh, lead me down a direction in which uh, feels aligned with me. Um, so that's my second tip or advice uh, that I think would help uh, a lot of you guys or a lot of entrepreneurs like myself uh, out there. And the last point, uh, we're getting close to the end here. Uh, last point is uh, to meditate. And, um, you know, some of you guys might, uh, out there might think meditation is a, you know, a spiritual thing. Um, you know, I, I, I would love for this world or for people to really start to see meditation as uh, the norm, a normal thing. Um, you know, what's to me, what I find even crazier is that we have this mind that is constantly in a chatter and we don't take time to actually realize that it's happening in the background. Like I encourage you, take the time, sit down and listen to what's happening in this mind. Uh, you guys have, we have so many thoughts that are going through and just constantly in the back. Um, and it's like when we don't meditate, we don't take time to actually notice that that's happening. And, you know, that's how a lot of mental disorders, a lot of things that, um, you know, people doing violent acts and, and, and just things that are not, uh, that are not normal. Uh, it's caused by just us not taking control and not, not realizing that we have thoughts. Uh, we have very... Um, strange thoughts at times. You know, that's the that's the reality of things. Um, and so meditation, meditation is something that um, has helped me in my journey. And I'm not a guru. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to share things that are working for me. Um, and that has been something that, um, you know, I'll be honest. For the past thirty days, I've I've fallen off my routine of meditating. And so when I um, this week when I when I started to feel myself. I really started to get stressed. You know, I started to feel stressed and I, I started to really feel um, the pressure in um, the outside world and, and in business. I I went back to the drawing board and I took time to reflect and to be alone. And I realized that um, 
you know, I, I fell off the basics, the basics of uh, just meditating and, and being consistent every single day. Um, so I, I've made it a challenge and I, uh, if you're watching this video, you're an entrepreneur, you're an online entrepreneur, you're an agency owner, you're a coach, um, or you're just out there watching my videos. I encourage you to uh, let's take on a challenge. Let's take on uh, a challenge for the month of March. Uh, and what I've told myself that I'm going to do is to meditate every every morning. First thing in the morning, I'm going to meditate. Um, I do longer meditations, and so I've committed to doing uh, one hour of meditation. Everything, everything involved in terms of uh, me sitting down, me you know, having my back straight, uh, and just meditating, taking time for myself um, every day for 30 days in the month of March. Uh, now, obviously, you don't have to do a one-hour meditation. Um, you can do uh, five minutes. You can do 10 minutes. You can do 20 minutes. Um, but taking the time to meditate. And uh, meditation, you don't have to you know, really know how to do meditation. Uh, if you're a beginner, there's uh, great things out there, great resources. You can use one that's called Headspace by Andy. Um, you know, I know that's been helping out uh, a lot of my friends and uh, the space in general. And so uh, Headspace is a good one. Calm is a good one. Uh, and you can do a guided meditation or you can just sit down and uh, meditate for yourself. But, um, you know, doing that challenge in March. And let's see, at the end of March, uh, and I'm, I'm saying this because I want to hold myself accountable as well. But in the month of March, you know, just do a quick journal. Um, you know, before March, how do you feel? Where, where are you at mentally? And at the end of March, uh, after meditating every single day for five, five minutes, 10 minutes, one hour, uh, see at the end of March uh, what kind of a difference that makes and, and where you're at mentally, uh, physically, and spiritually. Um, I, I think it's something that will help a lot of people. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and take the challenge myself as I um, you know, go about this, this season of, of growth uh, within the business to really uh, remind myself that at the end of the day, um, I still need to take care after myself and I still uh, need to be there uh, for myself. And so I um, hope that helps. Three things uh, that you can do to avoid burnout as, a, as an entrepreneur. And uh, if you're going down this journey, uh, stay strong. Um, you know, I, I wanted to document my journey and so uh, I'll be dropping a video um, every morning as best as I can, you know, with my current schedule, uh, to hold myself accountable, to share insights uh, as I go about uh, the month of March. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys watch this entire video, and I'll see you in the next one.